The Perry Sutton Volcano by Brock Peeler. In 1943, disaster struck the state of Michoacan, Mexico, which is about 200 miles west of Mexico City. The people of Perry Sutton thought that they had been hearing thunder in the weeks leading up to the eruption, but they were actually hearing the movement of magma from beneath the ground. The volcano was first discovered by a local farmer named Dionisio Pulido. He was burning shrubbery in a cornfield when out of nowhere, the crack in the hill behind him began to spew out gray ash. Pulido jumped on a horse and rode down into the city, terrified for his life. The Parisutan volcano pounded the town with lava, volcanic bombs, and ash. 90% of the activity of this volcano occurred in around the first year but the volcano was active all the way up until 1952. Only three people died, but hundreds were forced to permanently relocate to new towns as the volcano completely destroyed the towns of Parisutan and San Juan Parangari Kutiro. The deaths were not even directly from the volcano, but occurred as a result of lightning caused by pyroclastic eruptions. The volcano was caused by the subducting of the Rivera, a continental tectonic plate, and the Cocos, an oceanic plate. The volcano formed along a convergent plate boundary. Perry Sutton is a scoria cone volcano that is located along the Trans-Mexican Volcanic Belt. When the volcano finally went dormant in 1952, it had reached a height of about 1,300 feet higher than the valley around it. Something unique about the Parisutan volcano is that it was the first volcano that scientists were able to document the full lifespan of. The only thing that remained after the eruption were parts of the main church in San Juan, Parangari Cutiro.